Hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to be showing you how to import an animated tree from SpeedTree into Blender. Uh, now, SpeedTree isn't open source; it's not free. Uh, but I'll leave a uh, link of the description or a link of the um, site in the description below, um, and you can download the trial version just to get a feel for it. But it's a really great uh, piece of software. So I've opened up SpeedTree. And I'm going to click on uh, sampling growth. These are all preset trees. Trees are already made, so I'm going to click on that. And it's going to generate a tree automatically for us. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that when you use speed tree, you have to keep in mind, uh, or just remember the vert count can be quite large. And it might be an issue if you um, make a very large tree and you want to animate it, you want to import it into Blender, because that's, that's going to... Uh, be an issue in terms of the vert counter computer or blender might not be able to handle it uh, but there are tutorials where you can um, learn how to uh, pretty much uh, have images PNG images of your trees on to uh, attached as leaves because with this actually with this particular tree these are actual meshes that make up the leaves but there is a way in speech where you can download or can um, learn how to import uh, images onto planes that will reduce your vert count. So now we have our tree here. And what we're going to do is click on wind. Uh, the sh keyboard shortcut is the number 8 on your number pad. And it's going to click enable. And there's movement in the tree. And I'm going to increase the speed of the wind by pulling this up and this also. And that's going to really put more wind up against this tree. After that, I'm going to click import or export. Sorry about that. Click export. And I've already done this uh, tutorial before, but my uh, volume was down on my mic, so I have to do it again. And I'm going to go to Blender OBJs and I'm going to create a new folder. A new folder. And call this speed blender or blend toot enter that and click on open I'm going to keep this as the default name if you notice at the bottom uh, of this uh, box here Alembic IO is the default is the setting that I've chose before now I've tried to save it as an FBX because that's usually the file extension that you would use when it comes to animations but for some reason that just did not work in Blender. Alembic is what you need to choose in order to have your animated tree imported into Blender. So let's click on Alembic and click on save. And we're going to keep all the default settings as they are. I'm going to click on OK. You might want to adjust the frame rate uh, here. Let's, well we can adjust this in Blender Usually with Blender, it's like 20. The default setting for the FPS is like 24 frames per second. So let me reduce this to 24. Uh, 24. And uh, everything else looks good. PNG, format, textures, and all that. Even though the textures aren't being used, let me click on OK. And uh, this may take a little bit of time to import or to export this into that file because the total number of verts our polygons is 185,000 which is you know, pretty high for you know a tree of this size it's just a small sapling tree but what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to pause recording and then uh, resume back when it's completely exported into that file that we created so I'll see everybody in a little bit okay and we're back and the tree has exported that took about I'm thinking probably two, two, three minutes. So we're going to close this out. And we're going to go into where we saved that particular file. That was in my Blender. Blender OBJ exports. Let me see. Um, I'm, looking for, I'm trying to find it so I can just uh, go straight to that folder. There it is. Okay, speed tree should be oh, there. It is yeah. Okay, there it is. I'm going to go here and press Control C so I can copy the 
the web address there and then open up blender convert this into cycles render uh, press a twice and then X to delete everything in the scene and then press 1 and 5 to get the front orthographic view I'm going to hold down shift and my middle mouse button to drag down uh, the whole window so I can the uh, cursor can be at the bottom that way when we, when we import the tree we can see the whole tree from top to bottom okay now that our, our window is where you want it to be let's click on file import and alembic.abc that's the file extension we saved the tree in from a speed tree click on that and then at the top here press that and then control V and enter and that's our that's our tree there let's click on that and import alembic and there it is let's scroll down on our mouse wheel so we can see the whole tree and then hold down shift and middle mouse button again to drag everything down and now we're going to press this play button and we should see the tree moving because we imported the mesh with the um, animation of the wind blowing the tree and there it is and the tree is actually you know moving so that's how you import an animated tree blowing in the wind from Alembic or sorry from speed tree into blender using the Alembic or dot ABC extension so once again you download speed tree the trial version uh, create your tree be aware of the vert count making sure that it's not too, too many verts because this is 187,000 vertices which is a lot for just this small sapling tree and then once you've done that you export it into a file and make sure you, you create a file because if you don't it's, it's a lot that's going to be exported you know the textures with the tree itself so create a file to hold all your textures and the animation in once you've done that import it into blender with using the um, import file and then import alembic and that's how you import an animated tree from speed tree into blender uh... thanks for watching this uh, tutorial hope it was helpful and um, you guys have a great day and see you on the next one. Alright, bye.